Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Bethany and on this channel we talk about the false beliefs taught to women inside of the church and we also shine a light on problematic Christian influencers. So if any of that resonates with you, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like this video, share with a friend, and come hang out with me on Instagram and TikTok right over here. And be sure to sign up for the Outspoken X Funny newsletter so you can receive videos from 12 to 24 hours early before they go public. Today we have an update on Brittany Dawn's trial. Let's get into it. Okay, so this update is going to be super, super short and a little disheartening. <laughs> so, I have documentation filed on April 28th of 2023, and it's an announcement of a settlement. So, like we've known, Brittany Dawn's trial, I think, was supposed to be May 6th or 7th, and then it got pushed again a few weeks after, and I think after that it got pushed, and... And now it's an announcement of a settlement. Yes, because it's May 2nd now. And she's supposed to have trial this. Yeah, so I think it got pushed two times. And so it's an announcement of a settlement. And I'll read it to you. I also got this document off of the Brittany Dawn Snark Reddit page. So that's amazing. Thank you so much for keeping up with all that. It says, please be advised that the parties have reached a mediated settlement agreement. At this time, we are asking for the trial date be vacated and the case be set for hearing on a motion for entry of judgment, which we will be filing in the next two weeks. If you have any questions, please contact me at the number below. So, instead of her going to trial, instead of her pleading guilty, not guilty, they decided that they're just going to reach a settlement so they don't have to do trial. Now, I've done a little bit of research and we're, I don't think the public will be able to know since this is a civil lawsuit and it's not a federal, I don't think we'll know what essentially she'll, like what they're settling on, what, what she'll have to do, whether that would be she has to pay this much money and do like something else or she just pays this much money. I don't know if we'll know, and I'm not sure, because she keeps talking about how she wants to talk about her testimony, and she can't, she hasn't been able to talk about her testimony because it involves a lot of the the lawsuit, which is whatever, which is fine, and so I'm not sure if she'll be able to speak on this since it, since it is a settlement. I don't know if they're going to have to sign NDAs for a certain amount of years after the settlement is whatever. But in my opinion, <laughs> here are my thoughts. In my opinion, I think this is an easy way to essentially just get out of it. To say, I am going to continue to plead not guilty and the state is going to continue to say I am guilty. So it's just going to run and run and run. And instead of just going to trial, which is so interesting to me because if they never pushed off the trial the two times, she would have she would have been tried and we would have known a verdict, but now there won't be a verdict. And I'm, man, now that I'm speaking out loud, she might deem this as, you know, a work of God and how, you know, God is always working in her favor and she's always coming on top because of Jesus because she doesn't have to go to trial now. In my opinion, it just looks bad on her because she's not, she's not, I don't want to say fussing up to anything, but if she is so not guilty, it should be easy, it should be easier to prove. You know what I mean? So, in my opinion, if somebody's like, fine, I'll just do a settlement instead, that tells me that there could potentially be some guilt there and, well, I don't have enough information to win, so we'll just settle. That is my opinion. I'm not saying that is fact. I'm not saying that is 100% true. I'm just saying, I mean, obviously, I've never been in trial before. I've never been sued, but right now, if I were to be sued and I was a hundred percent not guilty and I stood by that and that was actually ethically, morally true, I would try to do anything and everything 
to prove my innocence because it's not just the integrity that like of yourself like no I know I'm innocent it's because of her influence the integrity that she has on other 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 people and they were going to bring up her ex-husband Zach to testify and two other I believe zoom uh two other zoom calls that were going to come in during the trial date that used to be clients of hers who she allegedly scammed. So with all of that information for the actual trial, they were going to come in and speak uh, to testify rather. It's like, uh, should we just settle? Because what they say might corrupt like what we have because now she like she wasn't able to give any more evidence I guess yeah that was it she wasn't able to give any more evidence to the discovery so all that they had was that so they couldn't put forth any more things but the state of Texas had her ex-husband and I believe I believe her ex-husband and two other testimonies from uh, her past clients who she allegedly scammed. So it could be a good and bad thing. I'm not sure. In my opinion, it does look bad on her because like I just said, if you are innocent, you're going to do anything and everything to prove your innocence, especially with the big influence that you have and just the, the ethics behind it, I think, just to try to clear your name because once, once people, because this happened I saw this yesterday. So once this actually starts snowballing, I think more people are going to be talking about it. And I think it's going to make national news again because everybody's wondering about the the fitness influencer who allegedly scammed thousands of women and the lawsuit. People are wondering about it who aren't even in the fitness industry. So that's the update that we have. If there are any more updates, which I'm not sure if there will be, on this lawsuit I'll definitely I'll definitely keep you all informed but in the meantime that is what we got so let me know what your thoughts are down below on this super super short video do you this is a funny question do you think she's guilty do you think she's not guilty like what are your thoughts on her settling instead of going to trial okay always remember that you're a fierce and powerful motherfucking person and I will see you in the next one bye mm -hmm.